have a nice shortcut, which is control forward slash. Okay, so I'm going to make a comment here, and this is not going to show up anywhere. The uh, browser is going to ignore it, but it's for humans. So I'll say that uh, we have our meta tags. Okay, and then I can do a meta tag. And the first one I want to do, and it's see, you'll see that Sublime gives me this option, is character set. Okay, and I want this to be UTF-8. And a lot of times you want to capitalize this. So I'm going to do my control K, control U to capitalize. Okay, so that's my character set. That means like special characters will show up better. Uh, one of those special characters is the copyright symbol. So let's make a paragraph here and we can say something like copyright. And then we can do this copyright symbol, which is a ampersand and then copy a semicolon. And then we can put 2022, something like that. Okay, now if I save that and I refresh my browser here, you can see that the copyright symbol shows up properly. Okay, so that is the copyright symbol. All right, and the meta character set UTF-8. Okay, uh, so now the next thing we want to do is a uh, description tag. This helps for SEO. So we can do meta name equals, then within quotes, description. Then we can do a space here and type content. It even gives us a suggestion. And then we can type what we want to show up in the expert excerpt that Google or whatever the browser is that we're or search engine that we're searching in will show. Now, a lot of times, well, not a lot of times, but sometimes Google will not honor that, but sometimes it will. So let's put uh, upslopemath.com is a website uh, to help you with your upward journey in mathematics, something like that. It should be 160 characters or less, but you know, we'll see. Anyways, and by we'll see, I mean I didn't count that. But. Okay, so the next thing we want is a meta tag, and we don't want the character tag. And notice I hit tab there, it gave me a snippet. So Sublime has these snippets that make coding a little bit easier. But this uh, tag is going to, it's going to be meta name equals viewport. Now this is important for mobile optimization. Then we're going to do content equals, and then with equals in quotes device dash with comma initial dash scale equals 1.0. Okay, so this is going to help with uh, different sizes, making it not look so crazy small when you see it on a mobile device. Okay. So now we've got our page here. Now this is, if we refresh, it still looks the same. It's not styled very well, and we don't really need six levels of headings, but we do need some semantic HTML5 tags. And one of those tags is the header tag, which is, you know, the top of the document. All right, so I'm going to delete that stuff out. We're going to create a header tag here. And I don't want to do body after that. Did that automatically. I want to go down here and just close my header tag. And then I want to go here and I want to create a nav tag. And I want to close my nav tag. Okay. So these are some semantic elements in HTML. This is the header, which is like the header in a document. You know, HTML is markup for the web, it's a document markup basically. And a nav is a navigation element. Now you'll typically have a navigation at the top of the page. You may have a navigation at the bottom of the page. You may have a navigation somewhere else on the page. And you don't always have to have the header or you can have a, multiple headers on a page. So you can have a, a card, you know, something that pops out and you might have a header of your card. Okay. Now within the nav here, we're going to have an unordered list and that's a UL tag. So we have an unordered list, which is typically how we do navigation menus. And then we go down here and we close that. And then within the unordered list, we're going to have a list item and we're going to have a closing list item. And then within the list item, what we're going to do is we're going to have an anchor tag. That's an A tag that creates the link. Okay. 
So we're going to say A, and then hypertext reference, which is just abbreviated href. So we do it href equals, and then this is the path to the link. Now, typically, the first thing in your menu is a, a link to the home page. So that would be just a link to this index.html. So I'm going to do a period and a forward slash, meaning I want to stay in the same folder. And I'm going to type index.html, and I'm going to close that. Okay. And then I have to have the closing part of my anchor tag. And within the anchor tag is where I have the text that shows up that you click for the link. So I'm going to just say home. And maybe I'll highlight this and uppercase it. Okay. So I can do control shift D because I'm going to want to have a few more links here for my website. All right. So if I go here, I'm going to delete this out. I'm going to call this algebra uh, dash one because I teach algebra one and algebra two and then algebra dash two. And then I'm going to close this out and type SAT because we also are trying to prepare for the SAT. Now I want to change this, the text in between here to algebra one, algebra two, and SAT. And now I probably want to capitalize all of these, so I'm going to hide, I'm going to use the trick with the cursor. So hold down Control, uh, highlight all the words, and do Control K, Control U. Nice little shortcut there. Capitalize all the words. Pretty sweet. Some good coffee keeping me up. All right, so we have our head of our document, but we also want to have uh, the main part of the document, and that is the main tag. So we can create the main tag here, opening and closing main tag. And within the main tag, we probably want to have sections, okay? So let's create a section, uh, and we can give uh, sections and tags either IDs or class names. Now with IDs, um, you can only have one per page, and you can use them in links. With classes, it's more for styling, okay? So I'm gonna say section ID equals latest dash posts, okay? And then we're gonna go down here and I'm gonna close out that section. Okay, so within the latest posts, I probably should have an H2 that says latest posts. Okay, so I'm gonna say latest posts close out the h2 tag and then maybe within that I have sections okay with each post so I might have something like another section and there's a cool shortcut with the sublime text where I can type section do a hashtag or some other tag so section the hashtag and then I could say uh, let's say that my latest post was on the quadratic formula. So I'm going to do quadratic dash formula and hit tab. And you'll see here that it gives me the opening section tag and the closing section tag. And the hashtag indicates the ID. Okay. And then within here, I should probably have an H3 tag. Okay. So I'll have an H3 tag that says something like quadratic formula and then I'll close that out. Now, what I'm gonna want is a paragraph with some text in it, but I don't know what the text is right yet. So I'm gonna create the opening paragraph tag and I'm gonna type lorem and hit tab, and it's going to give me some, what they call dummy text. Now that's a little much for what I want, but I can highlight this stuff out and just hit backspace to delete it and then close out my paragraph, okay? So I've got this and I probably want after this text here, I probably want an anchor tag that would link to this page on the quadratic formula. Okay. Um, one point here, let's, let's take a look at this page while we're at it. So we're going to refresh, right? And it's asking me what I want this translated to, but we see we have our menu here. It's not styled. It's not nice yet. We have the latest post quadratic formula and then this dummy text here. Okay. If I click on these links right now, 
he gives me an error. The error is a 404 not found. I'm like you, I'm sure you've encountered that when visiting a website, you know, page not found, right? So we 